They represent whatever is holding you back. Whatever that is. I didn't put any names in these bricks tonight because it could be anything. It could be pride. It could be selfishness. It could be you've listened to other people that just clear out deception. It could be that you just haven't heard the Word of God before clearly. It could be that you've been hurt before and you let those hurts take, take you down and tie you down like a big old chain. I talked this morning about how many have been hurt while attending the church as we know it. A lot of people raise their hand and that's sad. But can I tell you something? You let the hurt stop you from being on that right road. You're letting that hurt win in your life and that hurt controls your life. And I don't want that for anybody here tonight. Amen. The hurt must end. Yes. yes. Let that thing go. Yes. God is a God that can cut that ball and chain off yes. your neck yes. and off your leg. And He can put you right flat on it. He can make you straight down that road that leads to life. Thank you, Jesus. I want to be on that road. Yes. Praise the Lord, I am on that road. I am on that road. I am. Because my name is in the last book of life. It's secure there. It's secure. It's secure. It ain't going nowhere. It's secure. Amen. Because I have a real relationship with a real Savior in His name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know what? I get up every day. And even though I have an excellent relationship with my Lord, I still get up every day and ask the Lord to help me analyze where I am. You know, if we ever think we've got it figured out, we're going to find ourselves making a U-turn from the ditch. Yes. And having some troubles in life. It's just getting up every day and surrendering all over again. Hallelujah. What it is. Amen. And once you give your heart completely to the Lord, you know, it's like that is the first step of the rest of your life. Yes, it is. His whole idea of being saved, as we look at it, is being saved from the kingdom of hell and being planted in the kingdom of heaven. And that's what we want. But along this whole process of sanctification or development, whatever word you want to put on it, it takes some time. And it's, it's like you, it's not fire insurance. Give your heart to God. Oh, guess I got some good fire insurance now. I'm not going to hell. I'm going to heaven. Praise God I can live like hell. <laughs> not like that, man. Seriously. Some of you are going, man, I can't believe you just said that. But you know what? I want you to know I'm serious. I'm very serious. So whatever is holding you back tonight, ask the Lord if, if, if one of these bricks are yours. Because if one of them is yours, I believe tonight in Jesus' name that that brick's going to break. Amen. I'm not talking about these physical bricks. I'm talking about those spiritual walls that get in their lives. How many believe tonight that spiritual walls are coming down? Here we go. Let's play some music, Maestro, and let's knock some spiritual walls down. How many think that's good? Yeah. Oh. I feel like I'm on some secret mission or something. <laughs> I gotta sneak up these bricks now. I gotta get my mind right. No, you don't need to change it, seriously. I mean, now you don't get it. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to do. You may have SpongeBob or something. <laughs> oh, no, you're great. No, no, you're doing a great job. What are you doing a great job now?
come down. Yeah. And I'm happy about that. Yeah. Aren't you? Yeah. But tonight's a special night. Because you know what? Not only did I not mess up the carpet, <laughs> I didn't mess up the floor either. <laughs> but tonight's a special night. You know, I've talked about these roads, these, these roads that we can be on in life. These paths we take to be somewhere. What road are we on tonight? What road are we on tonight? Do we have a relationship with Jesus? Has our feet been firmly planted on that road? Are you on that road right now and secure? Or do you have a relationship with Jesus and you've kind of wandered off the road? You're finding things a little bit bumpy. And you want to kind of turn around and get back on the road. I'm not saying you're on the wide road, but you can get off the main road and be deceived. You think you're on the right Amen. road, but you can be making your own trail. Amen. That's right. It's like you take a shortcut across the mountain. And you're getting the thorns all in you, man. You're getting beat up by the jagged rocks. And you wonder what's happening. It's because you're getting off that safety and security of that firm foundation of that road of Jesus. Or are you here? You've never given your life to Jesus. Ever. And you come here tonight and you're hearing the gospel in a, in, a, in a way that you've never heard before. And you know what? Every day, many, many, everybody say many. Many. Many, many people are dying and leaving the presence of this earth and stepping right into this place called hell. Every day. Many. Yes. I don't want to see anybody here tonight be one of the many. Not one of the many. I want to be one of those few. Yeah. 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 But if you're here tonight, in all seriousness, and you're not sure, can I tell you, it's not safe to walk out those doors. That's right. It's really, really not. That's right. And I love you enough to say something about it. You know, if I didn't come out here and, and share my heart from my heart, you wouldn't believe I was sincere. But I'm telling you, it really is. Yes. We're all on the road somewhere. Yes. Where is somewhere you? Hallelujah. Where is that? With every head bowed. 